Hi, my name is Edgar Garcia. I'm a pastor at Not Avenue Christian Church located in the city of Anaheim. I am the marriage and family pastor. I run a group that I like to call Married for Life. We meet on Wednesday nights and we have about 86 couples that come on Wednesday nights and our focus is strictly to focus on our marriages. Uh, I want to, my, one of my goals as a pastor is that our marriages are fruitful, not only for the kingdom of God, but also for our communities. Uh, and you know, Within the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at what is marriage? Uh, what did God intend mar marriage to be? Uh, so I'm excited uh, to just get into it uh, and look at the biblical views on what God intended marriage to be. You know, a lot of times we know we hear that marriage is a covenant. Uh, and that is so important because a covenant is so different than a contract. And, and sometimes we get confused between a covenant and a contract. A covenant is something that we make for God. And, and no one can break that covenant that we as husband and wife made before God. Whereas a contract is something that is man-made. And a contract can be easily broken uh, by anybody. And the other thing about a contract is that in a contract is what, how does it benefit me? Whereas in a covenant, in a marriage, it's not about me. And it's not about my wife. It's about my relationship with God. Some differences between a contract and a covenant. A contract is I take thee for me. Uh, in a covenant, I give myself to thee. A contract, you had better do it. In a, in a covenant, how may I serve you? In a contract, what do I get? In a covenant, what can I give? In a contract, I meet you halfway. In a, con in a covenant, I give you 100%. In a contract, I have to. And a covenant, to, co covenant is I want to. And see, that those are some differences between a covenant and a contract. And again, a, a contract can be broken by men. And a covenant that we make before God, when we said I do, we, we, there's just no way that no one, anybody can take that away from us. And so when we look at marriage, you know, one of the things that I tell uh, our couples at our church is, you know what, the number one thing to any good marriage is our relationship with God. Our, be, for my wife and I to be good, and I always do this cross for this, because it's a symbol of the cross, for this to be good, this has got to be good. If my relationship with God is good, then this is good. And, you know, it is important that as husbands and wives that we don't focus on each other, but our main focus is always uh, to God, and then this will work out. Uh, so that's one of the things that we teach in our group. And, and we're going to be talking more about what does that look like? Because a lot of times we don't understand what a relationship with God looks like in, in our marriage. In Ecclesiastes 4.12, which I actually have tattooed on my finger, that is in my wedding, uh, our wedding ring is 4.12. Uh, and in, in that verse, it talks about that a three-quarter strength cannot be easily broken. When God is in the center of our marriage, it can't be broken. Uh, it could get now don't get me wrong because people think oh, well it can't get broken, but it can get tough It won't be broken, but it does get tough because in marriage. There's gonna be trials There's gonna be tribulations and then in scripture we hear in James where it talks about consider it pure joy When you encounter various trials and yes, we, we consider it joy when we do have difficulties in our marriages uh, But that only happens when this relationship is good uh, so, and we're going to even look more deep into that. And what does that look like? You know, and when this show airs, my wife and I would be we're going to be celebrating our 10 year anniversary. And, you know, when I first got married, my wife and I went to premarital counseling. And we thought that after we, you know, we, we took this eight week course that, hey, you know what? We got it. We got this. We, we, we went for, two, for eight weeks and we're, there's nothing that's going to shake our marriage. But you know what? After 10 years, I can tell you, boy, was I wrong. We still had trials. We, we still had difficulties. But through those eight, eight, eight week classes that we did take, and we got to uh, learn a lot of stuff on, on how to fight, how to argue, because fighting and argue are also healthy. Uh, it's not bad to argue with your spouse, but there's healthy ways to do it. And we're gonna talk about that as well in the week, weeks to come. Uh, fair fighting, what does that look like? You know, hitting below the belt and, and what, what, what triggers to stay away from so that instead of, it, it, you know, adding more fuel to the fire, you're de-escalating the situation. We're gonna talk about those things as well in the weeks to come. So I am excited uh, for this new 
adventure that we're all going to hit on, on what is marriage and what does a good and healthy marriage look for look like uh, in scripture uh, so we're going to be looking at God's word I'm going to be talking about my own experiences uh, and then you, you even look at your own experiences and those of us who've come from you know divorced families you know parents who've divorced uh, or parents who've had bad marriages and how do we break those cycles how do we not carry on the gener the, the generational sins onto our marriages uh, we're going to look at that as well uh, so I am excited uh, and if you want more information on, on marriages or want to talk to me, you know, you can always comment down below or you can check our website at m4l.org. That's M, the number four, L.org, and it stands for Married for Life. Uh, or you can reach me at Not Avenue Christian Church too at egarcia at kacc.com. Would love to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, or if you want to just sit down and have on one on one, I'm available for that too. I love to be part of marriages who are healthy and strong. And how even, even the marriages that aren't, aren't there and that are struggling, uh, if I can come alongside you to help you uh, and give you a perspective of what God has to say and why God intends and in marriage for man and woman. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that too, because we all know that's been a huge topic uh, in our country, and we're gonna look at that too. Uh, so, hey, I am excited uh, to, to be doing this and look forward to the weeks to come.